Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So Leeds United have literally thrashed Watford at home. First first goal at home for uh, for Perot, first goal at home for, for Anthony and I'm really, really happy for the boys. I'm really, really proud. I was getting a bit frustrated but before we do I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel over the last couple of days, over the last couple of weeks and in a sense who stay very consistent on the channel because we've just surpassed 2,000 subscribers. So I'm on your screen right now, as you can see, we are, uh, in a sense, processing the giveaway. We're going to be processing the giveaway. Uh, do a little bit of a live stream maybe tomorrow, just to have a bit of a heads up on what's happening, when's it going to be, and all this type of stuff, and all the rules and stuff like that. So if you go over to my community tab, I think there's around about 15, 16 people have already voted yes. You only get one vote, so all you've got to do is just vote yes once, and then that's it. And you'll be entered into giveaway. So as you can see on your screen right now, go over to my community tab on my channel and you'll be able to be entered into the giveaway. Two Legion United fans will be winning a Legion United shirt of this season. So that's all you've got to do. But if you are new around here, subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. <laughs> So Leeds United took on Watford at home against a, in a sense, a team who I thought was going to win today. I, I did predict a 2-1 a loss to Watford today and by God was I wrong with the amount of the attempts on, on goal, the amount of attempts Leeds United had in general and I guess the amount of play possession wise, the creativity, the, the, the immense attacking threat Leeds United poised in that first half was on a different level and I was getting a bit frustrated uh, and I was going to, I was going to actually change the, uh, make the title that I'm very disappointed I'm very frustrated uh, more so just to the simple fact that I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit annoyed I was getting a bit annoyed that Leeds United yet again were continuously dominating games and it was getting boring and I didn't want to come in another video to be negative after a performance and of course this isn't going to be me being pessimistic I'm very over the moon I'm very happy and it's it's always nice to see your team yet again keep a clean sheets. But in the first half, Leeds United did, um, I think had around about like, was it about 13, 14 shots, I do believe, and about five on target. So it was a little bit of an improvement when it comes to the uh, the shots on target and the conversion, like the goal uh, goal conversion rate and stuff like that. But they did go into to half time at nil nil. There was a couple of chances uh, that I thought Leeds United could have done a little bit better. But overall, the whole performance from the guys just. Everything was clicking today. It was from the passing, from the movement, the defending, everybody's chemistry right now, everybody's confidence as a Legion United player, as a Legion United fan, and as well, I guess, as a Legion United manager, coming into a, a game where I thought Watford were going to be difficult to play against. I thought Watford were going to be a very solid, compact team and at times there were at times there were but it was quite easy and quite evident that Watford just couldn't seem to deal with Leeds United's press and overall when it comes to the, the overall performance from Watford you could see that they tried to sit back they tried to have that low block they tried to have that big block and it kind of did work they let Leeds United come they let Leeds United put on the pressure and they just tried to stay compact and of course 45 minutes, there was times where Leeds United could have gone on and scored. There was a couple of opportunities from uh, Georgie Rutter. And how good was he today? Honestly, he loves to prove me wrong. And I'm very grateful that it, it, it keeps on proving the haters or the, the people who are criticising him. And that's including myself because, of course, I'm not going to sit here and say that he's a bad player because he's not. I'm not going to sit here and say that he doesn't deserve to play for Leeds United because he does. All I was saying is it just simply want consistency from him and... I can't expect too much of him, you know. I mean, I need to be a little bit more uh, patient when it comes to Rutter because it was so evident in this game that when he's confident, he can do skill. The amount of touches he did in tight spaces, the, the, the ability to escape uh, the narrow doors where like three or four players are surrounding him and he still managed to get through that. Uh, the, the Rabona and all this type of like the, the technique and especially when that, that through ball to, to Anthony in the third goal it was I don't know he, he was just sublime today and I've got to give credit to Daniel Farker for having that belief in, in, in Rutter I thought Sam Byron had a decent game Pascal Stroik had a really good game again Cooper he's, yeah, he still makes Cooper's things uh, as Cooper's mistakes but it was also nice to see that Arch Gray had a rest Luke Ealing had a rest and Dan James, let's let's talk about Dan James a little bit. I mean, 
there's always going to be a, a stigma around Dan James of him just being this this fast player, the Ferrari with with just an engine. He played okay today, in my opinion. I thought he did okay. He was a little bit quiet. He didn't really give us much option apart from the two assists that he did provide. Um, and this is why I think a lot of fans, including myself, will say that he's more of an impact player. And, and I kind of agree with that because there was times where he struggled to make that creativity. He struggled to take home players. With whereas like Somerville, he gives you that bit of dy uh, dy dy dynamic, explosive um, speed. His ability to cut inside, can play on his left foot, can play on his right foot, can make chances, can just give the defenders a nightmare. And whereas Dan James, I just think he's he just kicks the ball and just it's just it's just a sprinter, isn't he? Um, I'm not going to sit there and say he had a bad performance because he didn't. None of the players had a bad performance. None of the players have had a bad performance yet this year. But in my opinion, I thought it would have been a little bit more sensible from playing Anthony from the start. Yes, he's on loan. That doesn't matter, you know. He's a great player. He's, it's evident he, he, when he comes on the pitch, he's, he just drives the team forward and he gives you that extra bit up front. And it was evident from the from the first uh, time he came on, he did not make the goalkeeper and he was unlucky for, for not scoring the first opportunity that he got. But when it came to the third goal for Leeds United with Jorginho Rutter taking on it's like two or three players and then slotting a massive through ball over to Anthony and slots it in the, the right hand corner, a left hand corner. So overall, very happy Leeds United yet again have kept a clean sheet, four consecutive clean sheets and the only team to keep uh, consecutive clean sheets in September. They've taken on Hull City, uh, they've taken on Millwall and taken on um, Watford and picked up seven points out of the possible 15, I do believe. So we're on course of almost having, yet again, another full amount of points this this uh, this month. And we go again, we keep going again. I can't, I can't remember who we play. I believe it's Southampton. Um, I could be wrong, but I do believe it's Southampton, then Bristol City, then QPR. So not gonna be easy, but we're playing Southampton at the right time and we can go out there, use a similar type of tactics as we always do. And hopefully Leeds United can go out there and pick up three points. But yeah, Leeds United absolutely thrashed uh, Wat Watford today at home. A brilliant three points, 3-0 three with, um, with two excellent assists by Dan James. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Leeds United are yet again on the verge of doing something great. And uh, hopefully this will continue. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel too. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.